Hey guys, welcome back to Green Chat. My name is Cleese, and this is a place where you guys can ask me questions. I give you my opinion to hopefully formulate your own on Pantheon Rise of Fallen. Granted, probably the majority of you at this point have your opinions made. But hey, disclaimer, and you know, you never know. You never know. Anyways, this is a short video, uh, just some quick Q&A. Some of the comments you guys have asked me or just stated in general. Other than that, let's roll to it. And again, this is just a little green chat after dark style. I don't know why I call it that. It's kind of sticking, you know. I don't know. After dark, whatever. Doesn't really matter. So let's go through some uh, let's go through some YouTube comments real quick and uh, see what you guys think. Um, see how you like this. So, uh, Danvi Psycho Child has a concern. For my biggest issues is the XP reses. This is in regards to me ch uh, chatting about healers. Pantheon Rise of Fallen. Um, if only the cleric can do uh, real res, which meaning res with uh, XP back, then clerics will only be allowed in the groups. Raids might still utilize druids and shamans, but small group gameplay will be for clerics only. Uh, you might think that, but the way it plays out is not so. Usually groups will take any healer they can get, and uh, what can happen, this is just an example, I think Pantheon will be a very challenging game, yes, but I don't think they'll go as dramatic as they did with certain effects. One being death penalty. Hold on, I'm drinking kombucha again. Big mistake. Big mistake. Woo woo. Yo, Choba, what's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm drinking this, this kombucha again. Hang on. You know, I shouldn't be drinking it, but I am. Um, yeah, tonight we're just chatting, bro. We're just chatting, Chobo. Welcome to the chat room. So, yeah, I don't think clerics are going to be the only ones interested in groups or groups interested for that type of healer. Because, for example, if you die and you lost experience, you run over to your body, you don't loot everything. You leave a couple copper on your body or whatever, and then uh, you can just, you know, leave it there and res it later. That sounds really annoying, but it's more annoying to go out and find clerics just for your groups. People just didn't do it. And then there's always clerics in zones, because clerics had, there's going to be so many people around, clerics had no issue with you dragging your, this sounds, this sounds stupid when I say it, but... It's usually not, but clerics didn't mind. If you dragged your body to their group, they would shoot a res to you while they're sitting there in the middle of the group doing their combat and stuff, and you can tip them real quick. That happened all the time. By no measure, and this was very present in EverQuest, clerics gave the only good res, uh, and by no measure were they locked into group play over the druid and shaman, even when they were way better healers. So not only were they better heal, well, shamans are pretty great in group play, but not only were uh, clerics better healers in group play, they could also do the res only. And even still, they weren't locked into as, oh, you, could, you gotta bring a cleric, bro. So I really don't even worry about this uh, damn V psycho child. Damn if, damn if, I'm probably saying, that. actually, he's probably damn for psycho, whatever. Damn for psycho, it doesn't matter. Your name, psycho child. I'm calling you psycho child. But yeah, uh, don't worry about clerics being the only ones wanted. In group play uh you could probably quote me on this man and when i join the game you can find me and i'll, I'll give you a hundred platinum whatever it is whatever the currency might be uh if i am wrong but i i really don't think you should have to worry about that because of the way this game is and how it plays out uh that is just overly annoying to deal with as a group you're not going to sit there and be like we only need clerics because clerics aren't going to be like running around all over the place looking for a group yeah if you're a cleric you're in a group pretty much if you're a healer for that matter you're in a group because there usually is such a disparity between healers and dps and tanks usually tanks and healers just aren't played as much as dps that's just how the ball rolls and you'll take what you can get under almost every circumstance even when it comes to rating um okay this is the one uh i really wanted to talk about there's zero replies uh, this one's from uh, Fethdor, or F Fethdor, yeah. Man, I suck at saying names. Uh, I'm against flying mounts too, but how much? Uh, how about mounts that levitate slightly off the ground, allowing you to cross water easier and avoid fall damage? So not true flight, just like levitate and EQ. Now, I really like this initially, and I was about to respond, and then I thought about it for days. This question really started nagging me, These I don't, I, which is odd. Something nagging me this much for this many days. Nagged me. And uh, what do I think about that? 
shoot, man, I, initially I really liked it. I was like, oh, that's really cool, you know? You know, kind of mounts with effects, almost like a clicky. But then I started thinking, like, uh, what if I've never played EverQuest, especially with a Levitate spell, things like that. And then I've played a lot of games where flying is so cliche, like, yeah, everybody can fly. And you come in here and then, like, they give you Levitate, but they don't give you flying, and it's almost like Levitating is flying. Almost, in some circumstances. And I feel like it's like a gateway for someone to leverage a conversation to start debating, hey, why don't we have flying? Not that I think, uh, which I'm going to get to later, I don't think Pantheon is going to be one of those games where if the crowd boohoo's enough, they'll change something. They won't break away from their core concepts, potentially. But they also said they're indefinite about flying. You know, excuse me. So I, I feel like giving the ability to levitate to mounts is kind of a eh. Now, I wouldn't have a problem if you cast levitate on a player and then he gets on a mount and now he's levitating. But giving a mount levitation uh, feels like a problem because, you know, if the, if the character is imbued with levitate, he gets on the mounts and now that imbuement kind of crosses over to the entity that he's touching means feels much more uh, believable. I don't know. Uh, not believable, but... Much less, it's a, not a flying mount, but the spell is making you fly. Not the mount giving you the effect, which... Because they're already going to have levitate in the game, for the most part. We've already seen spells that kind of give you that effect. Make you slow... Uh, give you kind of like a slow fall effect. So... Uh, I don't like that. Now, on the other hand, avoid fall damage, cross water easier. I think it would be cool to get mounts that give you, like, uh, swimming. You could swim. Like a swimming mount, specifically for water or exploring underwater areas or mounts that give you um say fall for example like skills in the game but not flight or an ability or a, have an innate levitation on them unless it works in the lore like it totally has to work in the lore and make sense and be no question that the player could be like hmm this seems weird it's getting levitation why don't they just give it flying yeah yep mm -hmm. okay all right let's move on so that was uh from Fet thanks fethor for the uh the comment, man. That's that's my response. I don't think we should give levitate to mounts, but I do like the they could give you a mount that you have to find for crossing water easier. Runs on top of water, like a mosquito type creature, and then uh, avoid fall damage. You know, like a safe fall pet. Basically, uh, Mr. Gregory Charlman Charlmangi Mange Mange. Man, these guys are crazy names. Uh, I'm gonna give. I like that comment. Uh, he's basically saying he likes the Final Fantasy XIV mount system. Um, you could rent a mount from town to town, uh, kind of like a taxi. You had limited time to ride it. Uh, the economy behind it would be cool because people would have to spend for the mount. Basically, you can rent mounts. Again, I, I would like them to steer clear of flying altogether and not even bring it into the game in any concept whatsoever. If anything, have it be a taxi system that's utilizes some very complicated mechanism that can't be like it takes an entire nation to build up these types of taxis and players can't easily be like well i want to purchase one too huh you know uh not like uh like in world of warcraft they had the griffin system or whatever but uh make it be very elaborate like a flying ship that's very rare and the technology is rare so you can't just have them flying all over the place i just hate flying i'm sorry i'm not a i'm not a flying fan it's hard for me to con uh, comment on the pros and cons of ground mounts since I've never made it in MMOs that didn't even have them. But even Blizzard seems to agree with you on flying mounts, says Chobo. Says Chobo. Um, they now wait until later in the expansion. Life gives a player ability to fly. And even then, when it's available, you have to do almost all the quests in new areas to unlock it. Good point. Good point, Chobo. Yeah, I was thinking about this too. Uh... WoW, World of Warcraft pretty much locked out flying of some of their expansions behind some serious walls. Like, you have to do every quest, which sounds dumb. Sounds not hard. If you haven't done it, I didn't even do it, and I played WoW a ton. It was so... It was a lift. You had to do quite a bit of work to earn the ability to fly in some expansions. That's after they were giving it out like it's candy, and they started taking away more and more and more and more. Uh, now, in the most recent... Edition Legion, that was actually the most not recent, it was the second most recent. 
Uh, it was not bad to get it in the Legion, but still, uh, they make it rather tedious to grab and get at. All right, moving on from Chobo's comment, IWI Quest. I just like flying mounts from a gameplay perspective. It spoils a lot of the map, building a player uh, and building a player interaction, although I'm absolutely fine with a Levitate and Hover Spell, though. Yeah, I like I like Levitate and Hover Spells. Those are good. Uh, you know, don't don't take those away from the game. Don't take those away from me. I just don't like them translating. Keep them keep a keep them a player bound thing, or a clicky. And if you get on your mount with the levitate spell on you, now you're floating. It's all good. I agree on flying mounts. This is Muddy Feet saying. I agree on flying mounts. They may be cool and fun, but they ruin the game more often. Not ground mounts. I like if excuse me, ground mounts. I like if they are like a little speed buff. I can have it in my bag and summon when needed. Um, and cool if you have a quest and possibly quest saddles, etc. Or and cool if you have to quest them and possibly quest saddles, so like quest do quests to upgrade your mounts to make them look cool, so you can make them look nifty. All white and shiny for a paladin, all dark and evil for a dire lord, sure. And then they make uh the mount high maintenance, like you have to leave it in a stable or leave it outside a dungeon. A lion knight kill it. A lion might kill it. <laughs> And then, uh, and then I won't bother with them, lol. So, yeah, Muddy Feet saying like, yo, I love, I love mounts, man, but make them high maintenance. Yeah, because they should be kind of high maintenance, because they bring kind of a nifty thing to the world. They should be appreciated. They should be really expensive. They should be hard to acquire. They should be awesome to have. Uh, and that's just ground mounts. I don't even get flying out of here, bro. Muddy Feet, thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you for commenting. I appreciate it. Uh, flying mounts. Okay, this one's from Aaron Miller. Aaron Miller. Flying mounts definitely diminish the scope of the world and danger of the world at a large degree. I stay stick uh, stick to flying pass. Um, like I was just mentioning, flying pass even kind of scare me because just the concept of flying in the world in general is we have to be so careful now. And again, I don't even think it matters what we say. I really think Pantheon or Virginia Realms is going to do whatever they want to do with flying. I really think they will. I think they'll listen to us, but to a degree, I think we're our own worst enemy when it comes to systems like this. Because like I was saying, flying is awesome. If you had the ability to fly, it's super cool. If you could work towards it and maybe like only a couple, like you had to work maybe like the best of the best, the best could get it. Maybe. I don't know be kind of a tricky one also thank you for your service no aaron miller or yes i am aaron miller thank you for your service and your patronage this channel thank you sir all right guys so that's going to wrap it up for this video uh if you liked what you saw please consider liking and subscribing to get a notification for future uploads i do again you have to click the bell next to uh subscribe to get the actual notifications it's kind of a tricky thing like that before i totally close out i just want to send my thanks out to you guys for all the support you've given me I can't believe that we may be coming up on a year here. I think I started this last January, maybe February. I can't remember, but uh, I'm going to check that out in a second, actually. And I'm surprised. I, it's going by pretty quick, if you know what I'm saying. But I just want to send my thanks out to all you guys, especially with this last week of twitching. Uh, I jumped on a bunch of the nights, not all the nights. This weekend I was late. But when I was there, you guys were there supporting me, helping me make this content. And I really appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart. You know what I'm saying? For real. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Anyway, anyway, uh, guys, have a good night. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again really soon.